Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Eshgan El Shanawi. I'm here to speak to you very briefly about COVID and the vaccines that are available for us all. I am a practicing pulmonologist at Penn Medicine Princeton Health and I live in East Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm also a very proud member of Islamic Society of Central Jersey and I'm honored to come and speak to you today. My uh, intention is to share with you um, how safe and effective these vaccines are and especially as we are entering the holy month of Ramadan. The lessons of Ramadan are very clear um, and they include the preservation of one's health um, and to not only protect our own lives and health but to help protect and preserve other people's lives. And it has been a very tough year for all of us um, around this country and around the world. And as we approach a second Ramadan during this pandemic, we are reminded that once again, there are many restrictions still placed on masjids, on gatherings. So we may not be able to see all our families and friends for iftars. But the, the silver lining in all of this is that these vaccines that we have available right now, including Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson, have really given us some hope because of the over 100 million shots given, they have proven to be very effective and very safe for all of us, uh, people of different ages and different backgrounds. And I want to reassure everyone, especially Muslims out there, that um, you are allowed, permitted to take the COVID vaccine during the month of Ramadan while fasting. According to the Fiqh Council of North America, it is permitted to take these vaccines. It does not invalidate your fasting. So you are able to take a shot for the protection against this infection while you are fasting. So you can get it at any time before or during Ramadan. And inshallah, you will consider uh, doing so. Please encourage your family, friends, neighbors, coworkers to get the vaccine also. When you get the vaccine, you're not just protecting yourself, but you're also protecting others around you. So as a Muslim Ummah, I hope to all unite and to try to take care of each other, especially the seniors in our community, our parents and our grandparents. And I just wanna also remind you that even after vaccination, we all must continue to practice safety. And that means social distancing when we're indoors, minimizing the size of our gatherings, especially during this month of Ramadan, and avoid gatherings, especially with unvaccinated individuals for their own sake. With that, I wish you all a blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah reward us for all of our efforts, accept our fast prayers and duas. May he surround us with peace and safety always. Ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.